Hey friends and family, this is SP News Nuggets, and today, you guys, is January the 10th, 2020. We're going to talk about Brianna Williams in the Brianna Williams Taylor Williams case, and you guys wanted me to share that photo with you, so here it is, you guys. I want you to take a really good look at this photo and tell me if this is the same lady. Brianna Williams that we talked about when Buck was on the phone. I've got Buck's phone number. I done reached out to him and I'm waiting on that call back. So let's talk about it, you guys. So here's the picture of the lady that he said that helped him in a case that he had. He said that wasn't the real Brianna that they had on TV that they were showing the pictures. And this right here on the left hand side is the Brianna Williams that he knew that he said that was the lady that helped him on a case that she was acting as a an attorney that was, I guess, um, you guys remember the case. You guys remember that I guess that she, he had to sign some papers saying that even though that she was not an attorney, an attorney, but she was a, I guess, a student that he, he allowed her to work on the case. This is the picture on the left. And this is the Brianna Williams that came in the courtroom just a couple of days ago. Now, it does look like the same woman. She's a little bit lighter. It might be where whoever took the picture had good lighting. And actually, you know, you can change the lighting of a picture. Sometimes I look light when I'm not. I am dark-skinned. I am a brown-skinned woman. So... The lighting changes a lot. But in all reality, this does look like the woman that he was talking about. Look at the nose. But you guys tell me, she kind of looked like she's got a long nose. This woman kind of looked like she got a little bit of a long nose. But it could be the angle. But I'm looking... And I'm looking at the mouth structure. She looks a little bit chunkier. But this could be the same woman. A lot of people saying it is the same woman. You guys tell me. Anyway, I've reached out to Buck. And we're going to talk about some of the updates that they have on the Brianna Williams case. They say that the mother of the deceased five-year-old Taylor Williams pleaded not guilty to child neglect on Wednesday. Brianna Williams is charged with two counts of child neglect and one count of giving false information to investigators. Her daughter, Taylor Rose Williams, was found dead in Alabama after she was reported missing last November. Williams claimed she drove to Alabama in October to pick Taylor up from her grandparents' house, and Taylor's grandparents told investigators they had not seen their granddaughter in over a year. So this young lady, Brianna Williams, goes to court on Wednesday, and she pleads not guilty to giving false information and neglect. They have not charged her with anything else. She just put her plea in. Now, I guess she's going to have to find some kind of way to defend what she is saying. If you did not give the investigators some type of um, lie, then is your parents telling the truth or is your parents telling a lie? Her parents had came on at one particular time and said they haven't seen, and I'm saying her parents that raised her, which would be her aunt, said that um, they haven't seen Taylor in almost a year. Her biological parents said they haven't seen Taylor. No, 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 no. Let me take that back. Not the, the biological parents, but the maternal parents, the paternal parents, the paternal parents is the boy, uh, Taylor's father's parents. But she could have been talking about her real mother. She could have been talking about a real mother, you guys. So that's probably why it's not a lie. So the question is still, what happened to Taylor Williams? 
And who was she taking Taylor Williams to go see down there in Alabama? Was she taking Taylor to go see her real mother? And she wasn't really talking about her aunt that raised her, which she called mom. And then the question that we still have that, yes, I told you guys right at the beginning, I am getting in touch with Buck. I got the number. I called it twice. I haven't got a response. Once I get a response, I will notify you by the alert system that we have. You guys know the alert system. Dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun. Yeah, when you hear that, guess what? We're going to have a conversation with Buck if we can get a hold of him. But one question I have to say to you guys, because when Buck came on, you guys didn't treat him right. You guys didn't treat him good. He came out and told his truth, and the first thing that came out of one person's mouth, and I'm not going to say who it is, you was in the chat room when it happened, was like, you need to be on your medication. And, and, and was you diagnosed, and this, that, and the other. And, and people were, were laughing. Well, now, I don't know if you're laughing. Because when he sent me the receipts, the receipts showed that, guess what? He was telling the truth. And there was a Brianna Williams that represented him in a court case. And I let you guys not only see it, I let you guys hear the conversation with the woman and she identified the information that I was showing you that there was another name on that paperwork. And if you don't remember, go back and look at that interview and look at the receipts that I posted the next day of that interview with Buck on this case. So my thing is to you guys when we do have, you know, people that we interview, you guys are so into question the person. Oh, did you pay them? Oh, is that really the mama, the daddy, the brother, the sister? Oh, he don't know what he's talking about. Not everything that comes on YouTube is false. There's some truth. People want to bring you into the light of what's really going on. So I wonder sometimes when you hear the truth, you, 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 you can't handle the truth. Now, we're wondering if we can even get in touch with Buck again. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that family, you guys didn't scare him off. I really do hope you guys didn't scare him off. Because if I came to you trying to tell you something and you laughed and you giggled at me, I wouldn't come back. I wouldn't come back. And like he said, he wasn't going to get nothing out of it. He was trying to let people know the truth. Some people rather believe a lie than to believe the truth. They rather believe a lie than the truth. And that's sad. Because when people are trying to tell you the truth, you, people, you got to prove something to them. You got to prove something. Prove something to me. And I wonder all the time, prove something to who? Who are you? When somebody's trying to share something with you that maybe this may not, you know, apply to you right now so you don't care. But if it did apply to you and somebody was trying to help, they can't help because everybody else is tying their hands up. They can't help. We say we want to help, but the minute that a person gets on and say, hey, I need help, everybody wants to tie their hands. Anyway, you guys, I just share a little bit of my thoughts with you. And um, I want you guys to just think what I'm saying. I will be live tonight, 5 p.m. Central Time. I hope you guys come in. Friends and family, join us tonight, live at 5 Central Time, in the conversation room. And be good, you guys. Be safe. And be nice. Bye.